will go to the finals. SK Telecom, T1 from Korea, or Fnatic from Europe. You know what to do. Jump on Twitter, scream their names, and let's get into the rift. So think back to game two of this series, because we saw Urgot from Fnatic, and then SK Telecom Mooney try has and come play. from the tri-bush. Equalizer comes down. Dragon is ticking away. 1,000 HP. Fnatic seem to be focused on the kills. Bengi and Wolf will get Dragon number one. Bang will be the target from Fnatic. Can they get the first kill on the board? It will be Febivin. This is the period where Fnatic have to make their plays. This is the double tier yep. for SKT. Oh, well, here comes some sort of a play. Well, here comes the play you're talking about. That's a flash body slam. Faker does walk across the equalizer. We do see the dredge line pulling Bengi backwards. Wolf eats a chomp. Spare rush is available for Febivin. I think he's waiting out the exhaust. And it is, in fact, Hooney that gets another kill for Fnatic. Baron is going to put some damage down here onto the top side. And there's a lot of CS being denied up the top as well. So a lot of farm missing. Baker. Oh, this is 2v1. Returning the favor, Hooney is from the 2v1. He was put in, and it's Faker that goes down. That's going to be a detour. Well, right, we'll see if he can get there in time. Wolf will be the first support to join the battle. Mega Nor, he hops in, he gnaws backwards. Raynor is under the tower, but he's not taking aggro yet. SKT get their second kill and turn their attention to Hooney. And they may be able to. Take the turret right here. Does not look good here for Fnatic. Oh, this is a little scary. Equalizer's available, but Huni doesn't have turret aggro. Bengi starts chanting absolute zero. Instantly cancels it. Explosive cock only knocks Nunu away. Now Huni's in trouble. He puts the equalizer down, turns around. The exhaust is ticking away, reducing his damage. And the equalizer damage does not pick up the kill. Now Yellowstar's in trouble. Forced to flash, he makes this one count. Tries to get away from Faker. Faker does not have flash available, but Wolf does. Here he comes. Bevervin connects with a charm onto Wolf, and Faker is caught. Out. Faker gets the kill though. Wolf will be going down in reply. It's four for four in total kills, but one for two. Clever with how he plays Nunu, and he is so damn annoying. Well, we'll see how annoying he can be. He's going to need to deal with rain over. Looks like there's a teleport coming in from Hooney. He should be able to make it unless the Gnar interrupts it. Hooney has arrived. They've turned onto Bang. Bang is running towards the tower. The auto attack plus the tower plus the equalizer gets a kill. That's a lot of investment for that kill, but it gives him a numbers advantage on the next dragon. And that's that. Same trick as Fnatic last game. Look at that, right after 20 minutes, we see that Cassiopeia, there is the uh, Scry He waited Quark. for it, throws down the equalizer in reverse. I think that's still gonna be a dead Hooney, about to overheat. Fnatic has Fnatic have what it takes. put on an amazing yeah. display here tonight. Well, Absolutely. Pushing SK Telecom to their limits. Well, we'll find out if this is the fight. The barrel throws Bengi to the back line. They've traded junglers for junglers, but SKT secure the tower. Fnatic taking what they can get. But can they hold off? Baron Empowered Minion still pouring through. This Marin takes a few more laser blasts than I think he was anticipating. Fnatic, I think, have only secured one of their red buffs. Yes. I think. We have to get that confirmed from observers. Whoa. That's a flash petrifying gaze. Faker wants Huni. He's going to get him. Twin fangs was all that was required in the slow from that ulti, which is just the chicken way of predicting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he, he can't defend himself. Oh. Can you calm down? Petrifying gaze did not connect, and Huni's going to put the equalizer down. The barrel throws him off the equalizer, and the flame spitter plus the barrel. Taking pretty much everything and now giving it. Here's a TP well, on the, the B event. word. How big is the B word? Hooney's thrown down the equalizer. Bingy's channeling the absolute zero. We do see the position reverser swapping into the pit. Now Baron has been peeled away. The first victim of the fight is Hooney, and Fevervin's trying to fight, but he's trying to get in, and there's no targets yet. We do see Bingy continue to stick around on Baron, and Marin stuns up to the dual lane of Fnatic in retreat, and it's too little, it's too late. SKT have Baron number two. Two. They've got themselves kills on the board. Marin's looking for more. He should be able to run down Yellow Star, and he. Well, we'll find out if Fnatic can hold on to inhibitor turrets. That is all that stands between Fnatic and SKT moving towards the finals. We do see Wolf 
He goes in for the head, but Pulverize doesn't manage to connect. Bang, gets pulled backwards, and the position reverses just for Yellow Star. SKT are very far ahead. Equalizer oh. is pretty good. They knock Faker away. Is it enough for Fnatic? Fevin did the best he can to zone away on the sidelines. Bengi's going low. Now Fevin goes forward. There's no Megan R available. That's a flash backwards. Fnatic may be able to win a team fight. Not without Rain over, though. There, bang, re engage on the back line. Hooney's caught out. Acid Hunter gets hourglassed away. We do see the mines coming out from Yellow Star, slowing them down. And Fnatic with a good last ditch effort, but just not enough. Well, definitely seemed to be the case in that scenario. Hooning gets jumped on by Marin. Fevervin trying to get some damage out over the wall with the orb of deception. Steal back. Spell shields down. Faker drops him. Twin Fang, two hits, dead steal back. Thing. You could make a highlight reel of Kobe's saltiness <laughs> towards Nunu. Right, Rainover's going in, Rainover's going out. Wolf kicks him back. This could be the final fight. The Gnar locks him up against the wall. Yellow Star will be going down. This is the final fight for Fnatic and it's SKT with a strong performance. Faker, explosive cast backwards. Petrifying gaze down. Double kill for Bang. Triple kill for Bang. Quadra kill for Bang. And Scumbag Morin denies the second pentakill. And that's it. Morin's just going to teleport straight into the base, get the Baron buff. The surrender will come through, and SK Telecom T1 will move on to the MSI Finals. What a series. A lot of respect between these two teams, all the way to five. I'm very impressed with Fnatic. Fnatic put it all out there this series. Such a close, close series. Great performance from all members. Steelback was taking a lot of flack. He showed up in the middle of the series. Back to back had some strong performances. Yellowstar was amazing on his engaged supports. And don't forget Hooney, man. He had some of the most crucial turnarounds well and banks in this series. So for a team with these three rookies. SK Telecom T1.